I'm moving, moving forward every day. Jesus, I just let him lead the way every second. Hi, and welcome back to GAC 24-7. I am Pastor Keslin Daisley Harrow, your host for this series. You know, last week we had a good time viewing our series, The Family Altar, a real life drama about stuff that we all experience. Now, I'm quite certain there is someone who is viewing today and wondering, well, what is she talking about? Well, we introduced a brand new series called The Family Altar and we viewed its first part last week. Well, for those of you who missed it, you can go back to our YouTube channel, that is JC247 YouTube channel, and you can get that episode that you missed. Look for The Family Altar. Well, this week is our second installment, and I'm gonna let the cat out of the bag. You need a handkerchief, trust me on this one. But also, make sure to get your pen and paper because it's going to get real. Well, the least I could do is invite you to view. So join me as we view together this week's installment of The Family Altar. Anaya, it's time to come home. Anaya. Yes, mommy. You hear what I say? It's time to come home. It's true, mommy. Mommy, I'm not coming home. Come home for what? How you mean come home for what? It's here you live in. Mommy, that's where you call me for? That's where you really call me for? Anaya. You cannot be in people's house for so long. I lost in nobody's house and my aunt's house. I rather live here than this. I stay in here. I'm not coming home. Is they just call her home? You just never listen to me. You cannot be staying by your auntie so long. Why not? Be careful how you're speaking to me. You know that's why I come my auntie for, right? That's all you like to do. Quarrel, quarrel, quarrel. If you're not quarrel with me, you're quarreling with Jordan. Listen. If you're not quarrel with Jordan, you're quarreling Listen to me. I'm speaking to you, okay? You call me to quarrel? I leave home and come by auntie to get away from the quarrel. And you call me to quarrel? That's all you like to do, no? Excuse me? All you get for is to stress people out. Gosh, Don't let me come Mommy, I'm not, I'm not coming home. Well, we will see about that. Well, we will see. I am not coming home. And watch how you're speaking to me. I hate you, boy. Auntie Sharon, talk to her. You hear how this child speaking to me? Yeah, Carol. This Sharon here, girl. What's going on? I just called to tell the child time to come home and she started to carry on. But you know, Carol, she's a little frustrated right now. Let me talk to her now. All I do is tell her it's time to come home. She can't yeah, but, be by you all this time. Yeah, but Carol. You know them teenagers and them these days, they can't deal with their frustration and their pressures. They have a lot of things going on with Anaya right now. You know how they are, how they, they carry on. Anyhow, and is that a good let thing? Her stay, let her stay with me for a little while now. So it's no problem? It's no problem at all, it's no problem. You don't worry about Anaya now. I, I, I would look after her, I would take care of her. Yeah, all right, one all more right. thing. What's that young man named my, uh, the, the neighbor again, the young man? Marvin? Marvin you're talking about? We call him laptop here. Make sure he stay away from my daughter, eh? Oh, God. Carol, it, and I just have a little crush on him, man. I know, I know, and you know where, what crush does lead to. But wait, but, but like you forget how you and B was back in the day when Ollie was in school or what? Uh-huh, eh? and look, uh, where, where we end up now? Yes, Carol, don't worry. I won't let nothing happen to my niece. All right. All right. Mm. I will talk yeah. with her and we will get this resolved. All right? All right. Yeah, you take care. Okay then. Bye. What she say? She say you could stay. Yes. Thank God. But Anaya, you know that is not the way to talk to your mother. Yes, I know, but she just gave me so vexed. Yeah, but still that that is your mother. I sorry, Auntie. All right, well, I had to leave to go to work now, you know. Renelle. Yes, mommy. We have bread in the fridge, 
snacks in the cupboard. We have no juice, but we have water. If all you're hungry, all you could fix up. All right. We have chill service online this morning. I want you all to be tuned in, okay? Yeah, we already have it waiting. Okay, very good. I'm off to work now. Bye, auntie. Bye. She gone? Yeah, she gone. Okay. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna change her soon. <laughs> You know, today is church, right? Okay. And it's Sabbath. You can use one by you. I know what you miss. Um, you have money on your phone? To go who? I want to order food. On a Sabbath? Yes, I'm not eating bread. You can eat bread if you want, but I'm going to order something to eat. Well, okay. You gotta get my phone. Look, and don't take long. Well, I surprised you have money on your phone after a lot of long talk with Marvin last night. Kill. Just hurry up. <laughs> All of us are broken. All of us will do foolish things. Therefore, things will happen that may not be what the way you expected, and we must always be willing to forgive. Forgiveness is the willingness to bear Daddy? the consequences of another's wrongdoing. You, you sleep on the couch again? Happy Sabbath, Jordan. Happy Sabbath, Carol. Jordan, tell your father. And I say she not coming home. Alright? And tell him I'm using the car. I'm going to look for daddy. You know, you're right there, right? Yeah, so tell him. Sister Carol. Yes, yeah, Sheila. Um, Sister Carol, I bought some bananas for you. Oh, thanks, Sister Sheila. I just want you to know we have been neighbors for a long while and I've been praying for you and your family. Thank you, Sheila. Much appreciated. Hello, good morning. Hi, good morning. Is this Mr. Bartholomew? Yes, this is Mr. Bartholomew. Okay, I'm Mr. Green. I am Jordan's teacher. Oh, hi Mr. Green, how are you? Sorry to call you on a weekend. Okay. I called out of concern for your son Jordan. Uh-huh, what's that about? I'm not sure if you're aware, but Jordan hasn't been logging into classes, Zoom classes, for the past week and a half. What? Yes, he has not. That, that doesn't sound right at all, Mr. Green. Jordan is always in front of his computer. Jordan is an A-class student, that doesn't sound right. And this I know, um, Jordan is, a, is always keen about his work and always interested, you know, getting his work done well. So I got that call because I just want to ensure that all was well. Mr. Green, thank you very much. I, I really appreciate this call and rest assured I'm going to have a conversation with Jordan's mother and we, we will seek to rectify this immediately, okay? Okay, good. All right, thank you very much. All right, thank you. Okay, bye. What piece of madness is this? Jordan not logging in online to his schoolwork now? It's craziness. I need to talk to his mother about that. Voicemail. She's ni man saying. Hello. Yeah, Brad. 
Yeah. Carol, I got a, a very disturbing call from Jordan's teacher earlier this morning, Mr. Green, telling me that Jordan has not been online for classes for the last week and a half. And I told Mr. Green that we are going to deal with it. So that's why I'm calling you. So that's what you're calling me for, to deal with it? Where are you? I'm home. Where's Jordan? He's home. Okay, so deal with it. Jordan. Jordan. Yeah? Take over them headphones, please. All right. Jordan, I just get a call from your teacher, Mr. Green. You know that gentleman? Yeah, that's my teacher. Mr. Green said it's a week and a half now. You have not been online classes. Why? I just don't feel like going to class. You don't feel like going to class? Why? Nah, it's a boring person, school boring. It just don't mix. Why is school suddenly boring, Jordan? I just have so much going on home. Jordan, you could talk to me, you know? You know that you could talk to me? Good talking. Talk to your mother when she come home. Dr. Marvin yet? Kill no. He not answering my messages. He not taking my calls. Nothing what? like that. What going on with him? I don't even know. And we was talking yesterday. And he hung up the phone and said he going to sleep. But I was seeing him reading my messages and he was online. Kill, I don't even know what to But look, I just see him post something like 10 minutes ago with some girls. Yeah. On Instagram. You sure that's not his cousin or him? That relative? is not none of Marvin family. I know Marvin long time and I know his family and that is not any of his family. Let me check it. That's a stranger. And watch how they hugging that can be his cousin, that can be his family. That's not a family all. Huh? There's a video you're talking about? Yes. That is not no cousin. You see how he hugging, huh? Marvin on games. I don't know what's going on with him. I don't even know what to say. <sighs> Look, you love. Marvin! Where are you Come! Marvin, why not answer my calls? Yeah, Marvin, why not answer her calls? Girl, my phone was dead. Your phone was dead? Or your phone was dead and it was reading my text messages? She saw you online, Marvin. And it was posted on IG. Who's that girl? You don't want my cousin, girl. That is not your cousin, Marvin. I know all of your family and your cousins. That's not your cousin. I mean, my friend, my friend. Marvin, you're lying. You are lying. My friend. Your friend? Is your cousin or your friend? It's my friend. It's my friend. Because like, you're not sure which one it is. I promise you, my friend. It's my friend. Don't worry about it now. Here is it. I know for this games thing. Marvin, we together or we not? Together? <laughs> I don't know nothing about that. We cool, we chillin. Yes, mommy. But what that supposed to mean? It mean what I say it mean. We cool. We cool? Since when we cool? Renal, you see the time? You have to go and get ready to go beat your father. I don't want to go by right here. Renal, you have to go. I don't want to go. Renal, left up to me, you wouldn't go. But I didn't make the ruling. So come on. OK, I'll go. Anaya, everything okay? No, it's Marvin. Anaya, 
What's wrong? It's Marvin. What happened to Marvin? He not taking my messages. He not taking my calls. And then when I asked him about it, he was like, we're not together. And we just chill and we're normal. And it's like he playing games. Okay, um, you think you want to talk to your mommy about this? No. All right. Well, I know you're probably feeling disappointed. Heartbroken even. But... You will be okay. All right? You will get over this. You are a beautiful young lady. And you have final exams coming up soon. So do study about Marvin. You study about your schoolwork, passing your exams, and eventually you will find somebody much better than that Marvin. Yeah, but Auntie, I really like him. Yes, all of us have go through that at one point or the other. Even me. But we move on. We get through, don't we? So you don't feel lonely seeing that you and Uncle Duffy break up? Divorce? Well, maybe sometimes, but that ship done pass a long time, you know, and I am good where I am, quite contented. So I am telling you that you are going to get over this. Anaya, you just hang up on your mommy. You need to take her calls. I don't want to talk to her. But she's always telling me that you're not taking her calls. You know she'll call me after. Take her calls. Look, she calling me here. Yes, Carol. Yeah, B, try and start now. All right, there. Ah, that's what we talking about. You can switch off now. Hey, thanks, boy, Duff boy. What was the problem? It was the battery, man. Hey, man. Hey, the battery. Thanks, brother. I hope I didn't put you out of your way, you know, Duff. At all, man. You know, we tight like that. We tight yeah, like man, that. I really, really appreciate yeah. our help, brother. And I was coming in this direction anyhow. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was going to pick up Raynell. All right, right, yeah. right. Okay. Yeah, I was going to... Saying so, a few weeks ago when I did pass, I uh, saw Anaya there. Uh, Anaya's going well, man. Yeah, boy, she's getting really, really big, you know. Time flies. But, time boy, flies. she's staying by the aunt okay. these days because things all that good in order. What do you say? Boy, things rough with Carol and I, boy. Real oh, rough. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Quarreling, arguing, problems with. Jordan and with Anaya. Serious? Boy, my woman are a mess right now, boy. Ah, man. Yeah, yeah, my woman are a real mess. You look how good you looking, boy. You you looking real, real good, oh, brother. Yeah, hey, boy. Hey, boy. Hey. Yeah, doing some hey. stuff. I'm jealous, jealous of you, no, brother. Don't be jealous, I'm man. I'm jealous yeah. of you, brother. That, like, like that singleness doing well for you, bro. Ah, I don't have a headache like I did before. I'm hanging with some friends and be doing some stuff and it's a good it's a good little time but boy, I feel I feel I need to go your way no, 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 no. things may not always look how they are how they seem eh, brother so that um as you spoke about that relationship I remember mine I will say try your best boy me looking back I have some regrets you have regrets yeah, 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 I have regrets I, I felt I should have held on I should have tried and I'm telling you this now in reflection only because Sharon and I started early, the pregnancy was there early, the kids were young. I don't think we were quite ready for what we were into. And um, I think I gave up too quickly, too easily. If I had listened, then there was some counsel that was being offered to us and I, I didn't go that road. I felt, yeah, I knew what we were about. Duff, you know? you're talking about counseling. I, I, I feel we passed that stage, you know, Duffy. Well, yes. I don't feel Carol won't to have nothing to do with comes then. Duffy are telling you, it's bad, brother. It's really bad. Brother, it might be, and maybe it is, but I'm only speaking because of where I'm at now. If I knew what I know now then, I would have held on. I would advise you, hold on, don't give up. You know, um, look at the relationship I have with my daughter, with Raynell now. <clears throat> she only calls me when she wants money and things, you know. You that's, know not, that's, that's not how you want You know, you're talking there. You're talking there, and I get any feel that you talking about my family, you know, Duffy, because that is just how I'm going, going through now, you know. 
Wow. It's rough, Duffy. Yeah. It's really rough at telling you, but you'll never know until you try. And my thing is, try. And I'm saying, boy, don't give up. Don't give up. Take it from me. I have been there. I'm in it now. And I tell you, if I could have turned the hands of time, man, I would have hung in there. Duff, I appreciate your talk, you know. You really, you really talk to me. I appreciate that. Be good for that, man. Stay good, brother. You hold it down, Stay man. good, brother. You hold it down. Stay good, brother. Okay? Thanks, man. Yeah, I just come up to thing and fly back down the road. Oh, goodness, this child. Yeah, girl, sorry about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness, look at this kitchen. Yeah? Look at this kitchen. Nobody washed dishes this from this morning. They're just losing things and putting it in the sink. I fed up with this thing. It's not little children I'm dealing with here. It's adults inside this house. Yeah, mm hmm And as usual, the ice tray, empty and on the counter. Yeah, I'll come and pick you up, okay? Right, bye. See ya. Hmm. Fed up for them, you know. They always leave things out of place, eh? Look at, who leave this towel here? Why I had to come home and be doing everything, eh? Nobody pulling their weight here. Eh? Up and down with daddy, and he come home, I mean, he, and he heard this thing full of dishes, everything all over the place, and I have to go back down the road just now. <laughs> it's too much I'm going through one time, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy? Yes, Jordan. You good? Yeah, good. Why all you can't pull all your weight, Jordan? Why I have to come home and be picking up after you all? It's everything I have to do, sir. Only big enough, man. Mommy, I'll... Yeah, sorry. Let me, let me help you. Sorry. You're telling me you're sorry. I'm the one supposed to be saying sorry. With everything that's going on, I know I'm not around as I'm supposed to be. I'm <laughs> going over to you and your father, I know. But... <laughs> Me and your father, I know. It's affecting all your well, but that's why I and I are not here. You're not, you're not in classes, Jordan. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The hospital just called and said to come down, you know, because daddy, like, he went. Ma could go? Yeah. Because she's not answering my calls. I'm calling her, but she's not answering. I'm so sorry that we're messing up all your lives. It was not intentional, you know. I'm sorry, Jordan. I'm so sorry. It's all right. It'll be okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. All I could wonder is, did you cry? I cried. <laughs> how dramatic was that? But how real was it? Yes, indeed. We are plagued by these issues and as if life is not enough, death comes to bring pain to us. Well, <laughs> the truth is that we can't escape death, but we can find help. We could find help for the pain that we feel. And once again, this kind of behavior, this kind of drama, this experience, while it is typical, I say it should never be commonplace. There must be improvements in the family. Our society therefore needs help. Help from the one who invented families. Help from the one who knows you, the one who knows me, and therefore could help us as we work with each other in our family environment. And I must say to you, if there is anyone viewing this today and you are saying 
they took my story and they placed it on the TV. Well, that means that this is for you. If you want help, please feel free to call us at 351-5030. That number again, 351-5030. And there will be someone at the other end of the line offering you help. But there is more. We want to give to you a free book. That book is titled, Hope for Today's Families. So when you call, call and request your free book, Hope for Today's Family. The code for your gift is 86206. That code again, 86206. Ensure that you get that book because it will give to you many tools so that you and your family can make it through these tough times. Now, please, it does not matter your religion. It does not matter your status or any of those things. Do you know why? Because God says to us in Romans chapter 8, such a beautiful chapter, that nothing can separate us from the love of God. It is the same God who is interested in your family and my family. So I promise you that as our families turn to God, He will bring the solution to our problems. He will bring peace stability, love, and affection. And best of all, when we turn to God, he will offer to us all that we need for salvation. But here is this. There is one more installment of this series. Next week, please God, come meet with us again right here on JC 24-7 at 7.30 a.m. for part three. Until then, take care. God bless.